Hello everybody, Mike here at Game from Scratch with a quick bit of news. Sketchfab, an online repository for um, hosting and sharing models, launched a store about six or seven months back, and today that store is now in full availability. Uh, so the Sketchfab store just turned 1.0. And they've actually got a celebration going on right now. So if you buy something between now and July the 4th, there's a 10% off code using Sketchfab10. Uh, so check that out. Now, if you've never heard of it, Sketchfab is, as I said, an online repository for sharing models. In fact, I just featured this under my great free 3D model sites and resources list. Um, so obviously there is free stuff there available as well, but they've also done a premium store. And you can actually upload your own stuff. You can sell it on their store. But the cool thing is they actually have full AR and VR support. So if you want to look at a model in VR before purchasing it, you can. Uh, so basically, just come on in here. Find what you're searching for, such as a jet. You'll see the price of each thing returned. The price is very random. I'm assuming it is set by the person who published it. At the same time, a number of assets, again, are available on for free. That is why it was featured as this part of the resource. But once you see the actual resource you like, say, for example, I like this model right here. Uh, we can see the pricing is available there. Again, the pricing is pretty random across the board, so I, I do believe it is set by the author. Um, you can see details of what it is. So you can see the polygon count, what format the object is in. Everything is also downloadable as um, GLTF formats. And you can see it here eventually in the browser. So you go and you can interact with it. You can rotate and zoom, get in and around, look at the model in detail. Um, you can rate models. You can look at how many times they're viewed. You can get to an HD view of it. You can even go, as I mentioned, into VR and view this thing in three dimensions if you have a VR headset that's supported. Uh, you got descriptions, similar models, etc. down below. So um, some pretty cool stuff going on in this store. It's now appear to other online services such as CG Trader or the... Um, Probably seminal Turbo Squid, the one that's probably been around the longest. And it's cool to see Sketchfab competing. Uh, the, definitely their viewer is probably one of the best out there. I also think you can get into details of, um, yeah, you can come in here and see actual details of the model. So I can break it down and show the various different maps that go together to make this guy. The metal map, the roughness map, the normal map, ambient occlusion map, opacity map, emissions map, and specularity. Um, you can go into and actually view the wireframe of what you're getting, etc. So you've got a very good idea of exactly what the model is before you go ahead and purchase it. Again, I think they do have the best online preview of any of these asset stores or collections online. So it's cool to see them coming out of uh, beta. And they're going to be updating the features as they go. You see broken down by categories. You can see highlighted versions. Uh, they've got specifically game-ready, game-optimized models highlighted to their own category. And again, the prices really run the gamut. Um, but you know what? Compared to if you're creating a game that you're actually going to sell, the amount of time it takes to create a model, it's almost always cheaper to buy it um, if you pay yourself anything on a per hour basis. So um, there's nothing wrong with buying models. Uh, it's, you know, I know there's a lot of poison around the word asset flipping. Um, you know, as long as it doesn't get too, too recognizable or it's part of an overarching pack, there's no issues at all with buying and sourcing models from repositories like this. It doesn't make you less of a developer or anything ludicrous like that. So anyways, that is the Sketchfab store is finally out of beta. And again, they do have this promo going on. I've got nothing to do with Sketchfab, by the way. I'm just basically repeating what I've read on their website. Uh, but Sketchfab 10 is out there. And I use Sketchfab all the time when I just need um, some models or levels or something to demonstrate an engine, like if I'm doing a tutorial here as well. So there is a lot of free content out there. And I hope we keep seeing them now that you know they've shifted towards this uh, store focus. I hope we keep seeing the free stuff in there as well. And that what Sketchfab, the root of Sketchfab, the shareability and embeddability of Sketchfab, hope that all stays and stays a priority. And the store just kind of makes it better. But I guess we will see how things go. If you're interested in uh, actually selling on Sketchfab, check out the seller guidelines. You can find details basically on what's involved in selling. Uh, the criteria, again, the pricing guides. It is, I believe, up to you, but the minimum price here appears to be $4 US. Um, and you know how to set up your model so that it's the most used for everybody. So obviously, for them to be getting this much detail out of the model and the demonstrations, your model has to conform to what they expect to be able to convert for and to display it in the store. But definitely a cool project. I've, I've always been a fan of Sketchfab, and um, another place to buy stuff is pretty much always welcome. Uh, do you use Sketchfab, or do you use CG Trader, or... Um, Turbo Squid, any of these? Do you have an opinion on this subject? If you do, let me know in the comments down below. Again, by far the nicest uh, real-time preview 
of any of the systems out there. And as you can see, you can also see the animations involved. But it is really cool that you can go in HD levels. Uh, you can break down the models to the various different pieces that are um, that compose it. And you see in this guy, there's there's no metal in this map, which obviously makes sense. Um, you can switch it into matte cap mode, etc. So you can really see what you're getting before you buy it. And being able to see how clean the polygon mesh is is always pretty cool. Um, so that is Sketchfab. Uh, again, if you've used it, let me know what you think of it down there. I've never actually bought anything from them. I don't really find myself having to buy things very often doing what I do, but uh, I would be interested to know, you know, are there any upsides or downsides of using them as a store versus the other options that are out there? If you have an opinion, do let me know down below. All right, I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.